Alright, what's going on guys, it's Apollo1, and today you're watching a 240-2 to on the map raid with the AN94, so the same kind of setup that you're always seeing, but the player actually is extremely different. Um, this player is actually a French player, and uh, he's a really, really cool guy, and uh, he asked if we would upload his gameplay, and I said, well, you know, to upload to a clan channel, you need to be in the clan, um... And, you know, he didn't want to really join the clan, be mainly because he's a French player. And, you know, him being a French player, uh, this being, like, mainly an English uh, channel, he he's really not going to gain too much. You guys probably, if you went over to his channel, uh, you wouldn't be able to understand the commentaries, so you'd just go for the gameplays. And he did want me to mention that, so if you do go check him out and go subscribe, which I definitely recommend. I really think he brings uh, something new to the table. And uh, French French actually is a really cool language if you listen to it. But, um, you know, he's definitely a really good player at Call of Duty. And, um, yeah, but he actually got this 240-2 to uh, about a week ago. And it's the first, I believe, first 200-plus for a French player to get. So he got a lot, a lot of support on it. I believe he got, like, 15,000 views, 16,000 views. And I think he gained like something like 2,000 off of it because, um, you know, the, the French community is a lot smaller, so they all support each other a lot um, more. And, you know, that that's just the way that goes, a lot smaller community. So it's pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, definitely go check him out if you guys are interested in his channel. I would recommend it. Um, but, yeah, just don't be disappointed that he's a French commentator. He's a French player. Um, so yeah, it's pretty much that, 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 leave it at that. So ridiculous gameplay, but that's not what I'm going to be talking about today, guys. I actually have a really, really cool topic that I've been wanting to talk about for a while now, and I finally got it organized, and, uh, I'm excited to talk to this, talk to you guys about this. Something I came up with a few, um, a few days ago, and I thought it was pretty cool. So we have Call of Duty Ghost coming up here next November, this coming November, this year. And it's the next brand new name for Call of Duty. We've had Modern Warfare series, we've had the Black Ops series, and now we're starting up something fresh with Call of Duty Ghosts. Now, it doesn't mean it's going to be a series. We might see Call of Duty Ghosts 2. I, I don't know. We don't know. So you can't really call it a series yet, but it's a brand new start with a brand new name on the next-gen console. So I thought it was pretty cool. Ghosts is going to be fun. It's going to be cool. And I was thinking about some things that could really make this game even better. And I don't know about you guys, but in my opinion and overall, I guess, overall opinion for, for most people that play Call of Duty, uh, you know, Infinity War games have always been more addicting. They've been more fun, I guess you could say, um, but especially more addicting. Most people are able to play an Infinity War game a lot longer and more frequently than they were Black Ops and Black Ops 2, um, just from the majority. That's fine if you like Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2 is a pretty good game, but I'm just saying that the majority um, addiction on the you know, Modern Warfare series has been ridiculous, on, especially on Modern Warfare 2. People were addicted to that game beyond belief. And even in Modern Warfare 3, addiction was insane. Myself, I had uh, a lot of days played on that game, and I, I don't even... I think I've just hit a day played on Black Ops 2. Um, so yeah, anyways, the Infinity War games are a lot more addicting, mainly because they have more titles. The titles kind of look cool, and you earn your titles through getting kills with your kill streaks, um, getting a certain amount of uh, scores, stuff like that. Uh, like the Pavlo one, you got one for a thousand kills. That was really cool. I sat there trying to get Pavlos because on how cool it looked. Stuff like that that you can kind of show off in pregame lobbies and stuff. And that that was one thing that made it addicting as well as the Moab. Obviously, going for the Moab with different guns, going for a certain amount of Moabs in a game, that was just an addicting thing. That was a lot of fun to go for. It was cool. And the assault kill streaks, they're just more fun to earn. They're a little bit easier. I want them to go back to kill streaks. That's one thing. I don't like score streaks. I like being able to have a set amount of kills that I have to get. Okay, I'm going into the game. I have to get 11 kills to get my pay flow. And that's that. I really like that. Um, but but yeah, that's so there's more things to go for in Infinity War games. And it's just overall more addicting um, and all that kind of stuff. So in Call of Duty Ghosts, I'm sure they're going to come up with some cool idea, something that will make the game addicting. But I thought of a few ideas, actually, that I think that would make the game... I would sit there playing it for hours on end. Um, it would just be so, so cool if they implemented this. Uh, and it would be a lot of fun, something to go for. And that is 
with the whole it actually incorporates the idea of the customizable character that they said we're going to going to be seeing which actually is already in uh the chinese version of call of duty which is called call of duty online it's only on the pc because they cannot have xboxes in china but the whole customizable character kind of thing uh kind of comes into play with that and i thought it'd be really cool if you had to unlock certain gear and through unlocking certain kinds of gear um, you would have to get a certain amount of kills. So let's say you get 25,000 kills overall, just your overall amount of kills in Call of Duty and Ghosts. And then you unlock like uh, a mask or something that was pretty cool. Now, I, when I was doing this whole idea thing, um, I did think about things that you don't want to make it cheesy. You don't want to make it cheesy. So you can't really change the whole color of the uniform because people running around in like neon green that would just look terrible the game would look bad i don't want them to do that i want them to keep it real but kind of cool like epic make your guy look like a badass sort of um so you know let's say you get twenty five thousand kills you know the call of duty ghost mask that they've showed it's kind of white well you could unlock that and you could wear that at twenty five thousand kills or twenty thousand or ten thousand whatever and then at the next level maybe it's an increment of ten thousand or fifteen or twenty twenty thousand kills something like that maybe it changes color for the mask you can get a uh, a, a green one and then a blue one and the max is at 150,000 kills or 100,000 kills at red or gold to make you look like superior out in the battlefield or whatever you want to say. Um, so I thought that was that would be pretty cool. Uh, and you could also do stuff like changing the overall camouflage of your uniform. You know, there's the classic green, that spotchy looking camouflage that most army uh, people have. Um, maybe you could change the overall color of that, making it like a kind of a darker red or kind of a darker blue. That, that That's actually a real uh, camouflage. That would be cool, uh, but not cheesy colors. You don't want to go make it look bad or anything, uh, but stuff like that. I think that would be really cool. Have things like that. Maybe if you call in uh, 10, maybe, no, if you call in maybe 500 pave lows, for example, whatever the kill streaks are, maybe you get... Maybe your pave lows will last 10 seconds longer or 15 seconds longer. That could make gameplays get better. You could get more kills with your pave lows, so people would want to earn that and get more pave lows to be able to uh, get better things that come along with your kill streaks. Just little things like that that I think the game uh, it would make the game a lot better. So, anyways, guys, it's been Apollo One. Hopefully, you guys liked my idea. Leave your ideas in the comment section below, and I'm out.